The service will operate 24 hours a day, 7 days a week from 4 distribution centers with each equipped with 30 drones and will deliver to 2,000 health facilities across the country. Together, the four distribution centers, which will be staffed by a team of Ghanaian engineers, healthcare professionals, and logistic personnel, will make up to 600 on-demand delivery flights a day, with each distribution center having the capacity to make up to 500 flights per day. The drones can carry 1.75 kilos of cargo, cruising at 110 kilometers an hour, and have an all-weather that round trip range of 160 kilometers because of the leadership of our of, of from Ghana and from our partners this country is now poised to show the world how it's possible to use autonomous technology to save lives in fact just Monday the distribution center here made a delivery to New Tafo Hospital to a 44-year-old man who needed a blood transfusion after undergoing surgery when that blood was not otherwise available and successfully saved that man's life. This partnership will be building three more distribution centers over the next nine months, uh, just like the one that we're at now. Director General of the Ghana Health Service, Dr. Anthony Nsiasari, stressed on Ghana Health Service determination to ensure effective utilization of the drone technology technology to bring healthcare closer to Ghanaians. A Zipline and Ghana government has joined together on private-public partnership for Zipline to set up the distribution centers and Ghana government through the Ministry of Health and Ghana Health Service will buy their services. I also want to add that it's a performance-based system that we are doing and we pay as you use. Ghana is poised to reach everybody everywhere so that we achieve universal health coverage. This center is the first of the four medical drone distribution centers and will augment the existing healthcare distribution system, i.e. the last mile delivery and the Ghana Integrated Logistic Management Information Systems. Minister of Health Kweku Ajman Menu highlighted the operations of the medical drone service within the country. Even at midnight, for example, when there is an emergency or say a snake bite, and a hospital or clinic has no anti-snake venom in stock, the facility could quickly, through a toll-free number, SMS, WhatsApp, or online, call to place an order to be served from the zip line facility center. Within a maximum of 40 minutes of a journey, that could take over three hours traveling by road. May I also say that the zip line drones do not have any hidden cameras. No hidden cameras that to go monitor or spy on people and women when they are taking their bath, as have been put out by some members of those who always argue against the type of dreams that we have and the type of realities that are coming up. The Ochehini or Sajifu Amwetia of Oripenin call for commitment to ensure the effectiveness of the service. We need people who are going to be committed. That has been the problem of our country. Committed workforce who work to make this thing work. Talk about Tafu when they dropped the vaccine and the blood. I'm trusting that the nurse who took it, put it where she was supposed to bring it, use it for what she was supposed to use it for, and her life was saved. There are people who are sitting here today who may be hearing us who will think, well, we're going to disrupt this by stealing the blood. Near on Pankaswobiano or in the Pabani Ebay for. I dare say, Ebay, only Pabi ever said, now, yeah, my coin. Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Baumia noted that the Akufuado led government is delivering on its promise of providing holistic health care in Ghana. By June or July this year, government will receive 275 ambulances. So we will be able to deliver on our promises, promise of one constituency, one ambulance. The Ministry of Finance has given the needed financial clearance to the Ministry of Health to recruit the 2016 batch of all general nurses, midwives, mental health nurses, registered community nurses, and allied health professionals into the health sector. The process is already ongoing. Government will do its utmost best to ensure that the rest of the tranche of nurses who pass their exams are also recruited. Adele Kwesi, much to you, reporting for Metro News.